So my bag is very heavy, very full, and this tote bag is very heavy and very full, but I reckon I'll be actually able to manage. Wow. How do I... Ah! It's Millie and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I'll be packing my bag to go back to school and this will also kind of be a mini supplies haul because I'll be showing you everything I'm taking to school. So school holidays went by super quick and I'm really sad about that because we have literally had two months of holidays and it felt like a week. It's kind of crazy how fast it went by. But I'm in year 9 this year and I'm really excited for it. I don't know why, I just kind of am. But I have so many books to take with me and I take two trains and then I walk for about five minutes to get to school. And I literally don't know how I'm going to take everything because there is so much stuff. So I'm going to lay out everything on my bed, then I'll give you an overview and then we'll dive right into the video. Let's go. So this is everything that's on my bed. As you can see, I have a lot. So in here, there's also like books, stationery, folders. Oh my gosh, I do not know how I'm going to handle all this. So I'm going to start off by showing you my school textbooks. First off, it's my geography and history book. It is massive, or what the heck. But this guy is like, looks way too happy to be doing geography and history with his... Mmm, they are not very fun subjects. No offence if you like them, they're just not my cup of tea. But English book, my Italian books, my Italian dictionary, which I never used, kind of a problem, probably should start using that. And then I have my French books, French dictionary, To Kill a Mockingbird, what a classic. Then Animal Farm, which actually doesn't look too thick, which is really handy. And then Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. And this is like the playwright, play, the, the script thing. Playwright? I don't know what it's called. But yeah, we've got three books. A big old calculator, because we have to have this calculator. And ooh, it's expensive, breaking the bank for maths. I so now I'm going to dive into notebooks. So I have two really thick notebooks other notebooks because I have a notebook for every subject. I don't really like writing notes on my computer because I find that when I like write it down it like stays in my brain better. Okay. And that's one which is slightly different and has like grids. So then I ho also have some folders, lots and lots of folders and like plastic folders with those plastic sheets that you can also put like loose leaf paper in. So I have a whole pile of these. They're all from year seven, so I probably need to get some new ones, but it's okay, it doesn't really matter. So say if I'm doing French, I've got my notebook that I use for French, then I've got my French books. And basically if I get any like loose leaf activities, I put them in here. So everything is really organized and they're all like color coordinated. So basically I learn them, like I'd be like, oh, pink is for French or history. And of course I just have stationery such as, what are these, <laughs> color pencils mechanical pencils, pens. My favorite pen is the black pen. Comment down below, do you like blue or black pens? And you know, normal pencils, erasers, lead, blue stick, and fine liners. And then next, of course, I have my laptop. I use this for a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, of course I have to take that. And then just basic necessities such as drink bottle, lunchbox, and pencil case. So now comes the tricky task of packing my bag. Now, I don't actually know if all of this will fit in my bag. Like, that's a problem. I might have to fill extra bags and stuff. Oh, well, let's test it out. So I've zoomed you guys out just a little bit because now I'm going to pack my bag. So this is my school backpack. It's really ugly. Sorry, I have my hand there because the school logo is there. But it's really ugly and it fits a lot in it, but it's actually quite heavy with nothing in it. So I think I'm going to start by putting all my folders in the big pouch. And 
then laptop's gonna go in this laptop pouch. So as you can see, I have not put any of my books in my bag and that's already one thing that's like full on filled. Next, I'm gonna put in all of my textbooks. Oh, wait, I can't lift it up. I actually can't lift that up, that's a problem. Let's try to put it on my back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no, that's too heavy. I'm going to have to divide that up. I got three textbooks because that was too heavy. And I'm going to replace them with just some normal um, notebooks. Yeah, that's still really heavy, but a lot better. I'm going to chuck my books in here too. Now it's time to pack my pencil case. It is so dirty inside there because I've been using it since last year and yeah. filled up so now that I've done that I'm gonna put my pencil case in and I honestly think that's all I'm gonna be able to fit into my bag so let's zip that up this is insanely heavy and I still have all of this stuff to take to school like all of this and my bag is full already so I've gone and grabbed this little tote bag and basically I'm just praying that everything fits in and my water bottle into my proper bag. I didn't think about that. Oh, there's a problem. I did it. So I managed to pack all... No, everything's falling out. So I managed to pack all my books into my school bag and this little tote bag, but now the question is, how heavy is it going to be? Let's see. So my bag is very heavy, very full, and this tote bag is very heavy and very full, but I reckon I'll be actually able to manage. Wow. How do I... So that was me packing my bags for back to school and my mini school supplies haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have already gone back to school, I hope you had the best first few days. And if you are actually going back to school soon, just like me, good luck. I'm sure everything will be fine. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment and like, subscribe and follow our Instagrams, which will be linked down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.